Hello Libra, welcome to your love reading. This is intended to be for the last week of August. And if you're watching this at a later date, you are intended to see this reading at whatever time you stumble across it. So don't worry if it's a year from now, two years from now, there might be a message here for you. Um, this reading is not going to resonate with everybody. So you're just going to take whatever resonates and leave what doesn't. Um, if something does resonate with you, I would so appreciate if you would just leave a comment down below. Um, and also in the description box, I have a link to my website where I do personal readings. Right now I'm just doing email readings. Eventually I will branch out to doing video readings but um, if you're interested in doing a reading right now with me, then you can go ahead and check out my website. Um, I am still fairly new to tarot. I've been studying it for several months. Um, I've taken several courses and, um, you know, I've read for several people. I've provided plenty of free readings on Reddit for people, which by the way, if you're interested in my reviews, you can go to my website and under the testimonials page, there's a bunch of the Reddit reviews. So you can read what people have said about, about the readings they've had with me. Okay, so Libra, let's go ahead and start with this reading. Okay, so the first question we're gonna ask is who, who's coming towards Libra? Tell us about any romantic interests that are coming towards Libra right now. Who is coming towards Libra? Libra. Spirit, please tell us about the person that is coming towards Libra. Coming towards Libra. So we'll take that. It's coming towards Libra, please. Okay, so we have the Seven of Cups, the Four of Swords, and Judgment. So this person, I feel like this person has had a lot, uh, there's been a lot going on in your person's life. So they've had like a lot of opportunities. Um, some of them is like, some things are very unrealistic. This person kind of has their head in the clouds. Um, there's just a lot of things just clogging up their focus right now. And so they've probably felt like a little distant towards you. Um, and I'm going to say distance is probably the key here because even right here with this four of swords, this tells me that your person has not been doing anything. This person has taken a step back. They're resting. They're trying to um, reflect on things. Um, they feel like maybe they just need a break. So I'm going to say that there's probably either no communication or next to no communication. Okay, and then over here is the judgment card. This person is having some kind of awakening. And it's funny because we go from a card of someone sleeping and at rest to now being woken up. So this person is going through some kind of awakening, even in this rest period. Um, they've been doing a lot of self-reflection. 
uh, forgiving, forgive, practicing forgiveness. Um, when I say forgiving, it doesn't necessarily mean it's against you. It could be from either other past hurts, um, family related issues, work related issues, but this person has been doing some inner work on themselves. <clears throat> okay. So the next thing, the next thing we're going to ask is what are Libra's person's thoughts and feelings towards Libra? What are the thoughts and feelings of Libra's person towards Libra? Thoughts and feelings of Libra's person towards Libra. One more. Okay, so we have the uh, Six of Pentacles in reverse. And we have the Six of Swords in reverse. And the Two of Pentacles. This person cannot move on. So either this is a recent person that you've been dealing with, or it's an ex, it's someone, you know, a previous relationship, but this person is unable to move on. So that's the thoughts and feelings there is they feel they cannot move on without you. They, they do feel like the connection with you is very unbalanced. Um, so either they felt like they were giving more or they knew you were giving more. You were putting more effort into the energy than they were. Two of pentacles. So this could go along with this where they felt the connection was very unbalanced. Um, this also could mean that this person was trying or is trying to currently make a decision. What that decision is, I don't know. We can clarify and see if we could figure it out. Um, it could be making a decision between you and a third party. So it doesn't mean that the third party is someone that's romantic. A third party can be um, a family member, a friend, coworker, even work could be a third party. Okay, so let's clarify. Let's clarify the Six of Pentacles. Spirit, why the Six of Pentacles? Why the Six of Pentacles, please? Okay, so we have Temperance. Ace of Wands reversed and the Ten of Swords. So this person is being patient right now. Um, I think they're kind of even overthinking and I'm going to say, um, overthinking their moves with you like um because they want they want it to look like it is in moderation that they're not like contacting you too much or too little um I wouldn't say it's like a mind game like they're not trying to play games or I don't even know if this person is like fully aware of what they're doing but it may seem like that they're playing games with you um, where they come in and communicate and then they pull back. But I think this person just wants it to kind of be balanced where like they message you and then next time you message them first, you know, whatever. So I think they're just looking for a little bit more balance. 
which, you know, that lines up with what, with the six of pentacles, because they felt that with you, things are not in balance. So this person is either trying to take control to bring forth more balance in the relationship or connection. I want to say, because maybe you're not in a relationship with this person. Okay. And the ace of wands reverse. So what I like about this card <laughs> is if it's upright like this, that tends to mean that it's, um, you know, it's a new opportunity. Um, a lot of people will say that the Ace of Wands is about like sexual connection. So I do like that it's in the reverse position because this means that the relationship is something deeper than just a sexual connection. But I am going to say that there is a lack of movement. So I think right now, even though you may have great sexual chemistry, there is a lack of sexual chemi There's a lack of sexual um, activity with this person. Let's just put it that way. <laughs> um, again, for why the relationship, why this person thinks that it's not balanced. Um, maybe this person thought that the relationship was a bit more like sexual based. And they want something deeper. Or maybe this is you and you thought that the, the relationship was a bit more sexual based and um, you wanted something deeper with them. And then we have the Ten of Swords. So this card is all about this person feels exhausted, defeated, um, Again, it has to do with maybe the relationship being unbalanced, that this person felt like they exerted all efforts to try to bring some balance into the relationship before. Um, and even right now, this person is thinking about ways of how to bring more balance into the relationship and they just really don't know what to do. So they just feel defeated. They feel like kind of given up on how to solve this aspect of the relationship or connection. Okay, and then we're going to clarify two of pentacles. So two of pentacles obviously means some kind of decision. And two of pentacles is slow. So this means that this person has not made a decision. Like if this was two of swords, that would have been like a faster decision. But this is a slow decision. So this person just keeps going back and forth. Should I do this? Should I do that? Plan A, plan B. Um, and they really don't know what to do. And that kind of makes sense. Not kind of. It does make sense with the seven of cups here where there's too many things overwhelming them. There's too many choices for them, too many choices for them to work out right now. So we're going to get some clarity on what the two of pentacles is. Okay, spirit. Please tell us why the two of pentacles, why the two of pentacles, why the two of pentacles, please, why the two of pentacles. <clears throat> Knight of wands in reverse, page of pentacles, the devil. So Knight of Wands, reverse. This person, this person is very flighty. The Knight of Wands in reverse is all about lack of commitment. So this person knows that they cannot give you a commitment. Um, they obviously know that you want some kind of commitment for them, but they don't feel that right now they can give that to you. And it's probably based off of this, the choices. So this might be one of their choices is that, Hey, Libra wants a committed relationship for me. I don't know if I want that. Um, I feel like things were really unbalanced before and I'm nervous about whether or not this could ever truly work out. So that could be one of the choices since it's a clarification card um, that they know there's a lack of commitment and they're not sure if they can give that to you. 
the page of pentacles is all about a message. So I believe that you're going to get some kind of contact from this person. So if you're not in contact with them, this part of the reading probably is not going to make sense to you, but I feel that you're not in contact or it's very minimal. So there's going to be some kind of message coming your way with the page of pentacles. Um, it could be the message could be that this person is going to tell you, Hey, I really like you and enjoy spending time with you, but I cannot give you a committed relationship right now. And then we have the devil card. Usually the devil card is associated with addictions, a toxic relationship. Um, I'm not seeing anything here to suggest that it's overly toxic. Like I don't even see any fighting or anything. I just see that this unbalance, that there was this unbalance in the relationship. And then I also see that this person is not like heavily based on just like trying to get in your pants which the devil card could be seen that way. It could be seen that this person is all about sexuality and just wants to, you know, get into your pants. But I think in this case, this, this person is a, is very attracted to you and it could be a Capricorn that you're dealing with. Um, it also could be a Sagittarius person, but that's my indication for the devil is that this person is really attracted to you. It's a mutual attraction. Um, and even though this person is so attracted to you and the feeling is mutual, they know that right now they can't give you what you desire. Okay, so our next question we're going to ask for Libra is what are the what are Libra's person's intentions? What are the intentions of this person that's coming towards Libra? What are the intentions of this person coming towards Libra, please? Okay, we have the Knight of Swords. Ten of Cups and the King of Cups. Oh, these are some nice cards. These two cards I'm going to get to in a minute. Um, the Knight of Swords. So this one, this card indicates that the energy of your person with the intentions is that they do, they want to rush in like they don't, they can't move on. Like I said before, with the six of swords, they can't move on from this connection. So this person is going to rush back in. Um, he's a little bit more, I'm just saying he, but this is general neutral because this could be a female as well. This person, this person is a little bit more secure than the knight of wands would have been. This, this guy person is very flighty. Um, so this one does want more communication. They're still not like, they're still not like a cups night, which is all about love and romance. So this person is doing a lot of logical thinking about this connection. Um, maybe weighing things out on how this could work out between you. Um, being very not methodical. That's not the right word. He's being very analytical about his next move or her next move. Contemplating. They're, they're, they're doing just a lot of thinking about this connection and what their next move should be. So I don't know if they know exactly what their next move is going to be. They just know that they want to make a fast, quick decision. Um, they want fast action. They, they don't they're over, I think, being in this resting state where they're just being quiet, like they're over the lack of communication, which also confirms with this page of pentacles that there is a message coming from them. Now, here we have the Ten of Cups and the King of Cups. So this person, 
their intentions are to tell you how they feel about you. So they may tell you, hey, I really care about you. I love you. Um, But right now, I can't give you what you want. Like I can't give you a committed relationship right now. But there is love. This person has intentions to maybe take his or her time and hoping that you will understand and give them that time. Um, But this person does have love for you. So that's good. And then the other love card here is the Ten of Cups. And this is a beautiful card because this is about a um, domestical domestic bliss relationship, meaning this person is all about thinking about long-term with you. Like they see the possibility of having a family, buying a home together, just having this beautiful romantic relationship, happy, healthy, hope, joy, like pure bliss with you. Like that is what is in their thoughts right now. Their, their intentions that any small step that they're taking, they know that it's going to lead to this with you. So maybe spirit just wants you to be patient with them right now. I don't think we really need any clarification here. Okay, so we're going to ask, what are what are this your person's next actions towards you? What are the next actions of Libra's person towards Libra? Spirit, please tell us what actions are to be expected. It's too many cards. I'm going to put them back in. Okay. So we have the full two of cups and the magician. So their actions towards you is they want some kind of new beginning with you, new adventure. And part of that new adventure is that they want partnership with you. Like I can't say right now that this is going to be a committed relationship because even this doesn't necessarily mean it's a relationship. This could be spending time together. This person could, I think this person is recognizing that you're their soulmate. Um, I think you might feel that you already know this person is your soulmate, but this person also realizes that you're a soulmate because this is a soulmate card. So this person wants to experience, um, unity with you. They want you to be on the same page. Um, they want harmony in the relationship because of that knight of wands here, which is all about lack of commitment. They're not ready for commitment. But they, I think you will get there. I do. Because there, there's a lot of cups here. There's a lot of really good indication of love towards you. So I think if you are just patient with this person, you will, you will get your wish. This, this card right here, the magician, is all about manifesting. Wishes fulfilled. Um, fulfillment of desires. So I think this could represent you. This could, this could also be your person that they know that this is going to work out. They don't know when, they don't know how, but they do believe deep down because they believe that you're soulmates, that this is going to work out. They've already created this in their mind that it's going to work out. So I think spirit would just advise you Libra. To just go with the flow. Go with the flow and try to help this person of yours try to keep the relationship more in balance because that is what they're looking for. I'm wondering if maybe, maybe this person felt like there was a lack of intimacy in the relationship. Remember how I told you that this Ace of Wands is all about, like upright, it would be about sexual chemistry, passion, but it's reversed. So I'm wondering if this person felt that the relationship wasn't balanced. 
um, because maybe there wasn't enough this is so hard to say. Maybe there wasn't enough intimacy in the relationship um, or too much, one or the other. But this person definitely wants some more balance of fire and passion in the relationship. I've, I'm thinking that he or she is saying that there was a lack of intimacy because it's in the reverse. So um, I think that's what they desired a little bit more with you is they wanted to have more um, physical contact with you. Okay. So now the next part of this reading is, um, the potential, the future potential of this relationship, which I think we already know the answer just from what their actions are towards you. Um, and there's, there's a lot of cups. I already have a feeling on where this reading is going to go with that question, but we're going to ask it anyways. So Please stir it for this relationship. Actually, I'm going to go to a different deck. Let's go to this one. Spirit, what's the future potential outcome for this relationship? Let me shuffle two more times. Future potential outcome. Seven of Cups. Oh my gosh. So interesting that the Seven of Cups came up <laughs> again, twice in this reading. Um, the Five of Cups reverse. So again, I'll, well, I'll get to that in a minute. And the Devil reversed. This is so interesting. So interesting that the Devil came out here and now it's in the reverse position. Okay, so the Seven of Cups, again, this is the same as we had up here where this person is trying to make decisions. Um, so for the future outcome, this person is still trying to make a decision about, I think it's about whether or not this person is capable of giving you a relationship. They want it because we have the Ten of Cups here and we have the Two of Cups. They want a relationship with you, but somehow they still, they have to make a decision on whether or not they can give this to you. Maybe they don't feel like they, maybe they don't feel like they have enough to offer you. Maybe they feel like you deserve more. So, um, this person is having clouded judgment. It's going to cause like some kind of delay. I don't think this means that the person is looking at you and comparing you to a bunch of other people, like potential partners. I don't think that's what it means. I think that a committed relationship for this person would mean that they have to not only give up their freedom, but maybe some of their hobbies, their passions, like they feel that there won't, there won't be a balance between like being single anymore and having those things that they really enjoy because they know that they will have to make, put more energy into a relationship. Five of Cups reversed. Okay, so the Five of Cups reversed is this person is finding peace. They're finding some kind of peace in all of this, which kind of matches up here with the Four of Swords with rest, because that is also an indicator of wanting peace, desiring peace. But this person still has renewed hope that... Um, you know, things will work out with you. They feel content. And I think with the awakening here, this lines up with that awakening where they've worked on, they've been working on themselves. They've been doing a lot of like inner healing, um, overcoming like negative thoughts, Um, and we do have heavy Scorpio energy in this reading as well as there's the Capricorn and um, Sagittarius. And then there's obviously there's cups. So there's some water signs in there too. Um, and then the devil reversed. So... Okay. 
this person has been facing their own, sh facing like their own bullshit. <laughs> That's the only way I can say it. Um, facing their own, like facing their own demons, which the biggest demon is, can I give Libra a committed relationship? So I think they're working on that. The fact that they've done a lot of work on themselves is also good. I think the five of cups and the devil both, well, let's clarify because this is supposed to be a future potential outcome. I do believe that this person is going to get over their fear of not being able to commit. That's why it's in the reversed. But let's clarify. So let's clarify. Let's clarify the seven of cups. Like why does this person have clouded judgment still on what to do about the future? Why the seven of cups spirit? So we got one that jumped, which is the four of swords. Oh my gosh, it's the four of swords reversed. This is so crazy, guys. We had the four of swords up here. So the four of swords reversed. The king of swords reversed. And the queen of swords. Oh, okay, guys. Um, as I've said in some of my other readings before, when I see a king of queen of the same suit, and this is interesting that they're the, both in the reverse position, but when I see a king and queen in the same suit, this tells me soulmate. That's a soulmate connection, twin flame connection, if you will. And you did have that already here with the two of cups. That's also a soulmate card. So this person knows that you're soulmates. You probably know this too, but this person has figured it out that they know without a doubt that you are soulmates. And that's why they're, they're pretty confident that things are going to work out with you, even though they don't feel they could give you that commitment right now. They're hoping that you're going to be patient because I think they're even confident that if you went off and pursued other relationships, you're going to find that they're not the same level of this connection. So with the seven of cups here clarified with the king of swords, queen of swords, that's obviously saying a soulmate. This person knows that you're a soulmate, which could be part of this choices that they're, they're trying to make. They know that that is a big, heavy influence on the decision that they're trying to make on whether or not they can give you a relationship right now, because they know that you're the one you're, you're their person. Um, the four of swords here. So this says that your person is ready to act. They're restless. They're ready to take some kind of action with you. Like I said, not sure if it's going to be a committed relationship just yet, but they are recognizing that they want to do something. They want some kind of movement forward with you. Um, and let's clarify now the five of cups reversed. Spirit, why the five of cups reversed? Why the five of cups reversed? Okay, so we have the five of swords reversed, nine of cups reversed, two of wands reversed. Okay, so the five of swords reversed, this card is about reconciliation. So this person wants to reconcile with you. So that is the future potential that you are going to reconcile. Um, they want peace with you. They want to make amends. Whatever they did in the past that hurt you, they want to make up for that. So I think that's what this anxiousness over here with this four of swords in reverse, they no longer want to just sit back and relax. Like they want to take some action. And that's what I think this is here. They want to take some action towards reconciliation with you. Um, and then we have the Nine of Cups reversed. Hmm. 
So the Nine of Cups reversed is they don't feel fulfilled right now, which could also back up this right here of trying to make decisions, um, wanting to take some action, wanting reconciliation. They're unhappy right now. They, they don't like feeling this way. Like they want to get out of this feeling of like they're not fulfilled. Disappointment. They're tired of feeling disappointed. So they, they want to feel happy again with you and they know that happiness is with you. But at the same time, we have the two of wands here, which is about not taking any action. So even though they want to take some action here with the four swords reversed, they have this inner dialogue where, where they're like saying like, should I go and, and pursue Libra and have a relationship um, knowing that I can't give Libra what they want at this time? Will Libra accept my offer? Um, or is it better that I don't say anything, don't do anything right now and just see what happens? Maybe Libra will come forward, you know, kind of that energy. So it is kind of self-defeating. But really, I feel like the devil in reverse is key here. I don't even think I need to clarify this one. I think that your person in the near future, whatever that means, the future potential, um, I'm not going to give time frames because time is, um, time. there's always going to be divine timing. We can never be in control of timing and we are not supposed to know when often when things are supposed to happen in life for us. So I don't want to give any kind of timing, but I would just say the future potential outcome. I do believe that this person is going to get over their fears. They're facing their fears about, um, commitment. They're facing the fears about giving up like their independence, which that seems to be a big factor is they don't want to give up their independence, their hobbies, you know, all the things that make them happy that they feel if they're in a committed relationship with, they won't have time for those things anymore. So my suggestion for you is to follow your heart. Um, if you believe this is your person, which obviously your person does believe your soulmate. So I'm thinking you also think they're soulmates. Just roll with the punches, you know, just try to be a little bit more relaxed. Don't bring up these, you know, commitment conversations, where is this headed, that kind of stuff, um, because that's going to scare your knight of wands in reverse away. So don't bring up like commitment talks with them. Let them be the ones to bring it in, because I believe that they are going to overcome that and they will give you commitment. I mean, it's right here. Ten of cups. Come on. It's there. Just give them some time. Okay, so the next part of this reading is going to be where we're going to do all signs towards Libra. So it's going to be every single sign, how they feel towards you. It's a love message from the um, Messages of Love Oracle. So we're going to start with Aries. Aries to Libra. Please give us a message from Aries to Libra. Oops, and again, you're going to take whatever messages... Um, whatever messages resonate. So here I was trying to tell you that this relationship was not based on sex and we have strictly sexual. So for some of you, a lot of this reading was not going to resonate because this person is saying that it's strictly sexual. This connection is passionate, but not enduring. So your Aries person is telling you that they want more sex, that this is pure sex for them. So that may resonate with some of you. Next we have Taurus and we're going to get a message from Taurus to Libra. What is it with these cards jumping out? Here we go. Patience. Oh my goodness. Just what I was telling you. Patience. Everything will unfold in divine timing. See, spirit is so amazing how like spirit will just come up with these things to reiterate what I'm saying. So I love that. <laughs> okay, next is Gemini. So if you're dealing with a Gemini, this is a message for you, Libra. Gemini to Libra. Ah, 
we're going to take that one rejection this rejection is actually divine protection so if you felt rejected by your person maybe because they didn't want to give you a committed relationship and that's what you wanted um it's really it was really there to protect you for that time and and i would just continue to trust the process here continue to trust Trust in your uh, manifesting abilities that you can manifest this person back. Okay, Cancer to Libra. Cancer to Libra. Finances. Financial challenges are affecting this connection. Leo. Message from Leo to Libra. Leo to Libra. Go slow. Ooh, here we go again. Take time to get to know each other. So remember how there's reconciliation in this reading. So just take your time. It's exactly what I said. Give your person time. Take things slow. Virgo. Virgo to Libra. Virgo to Libra. Children. children are important to this partnership. So you may already have children with this person or you want to have children. Both of you want to have children together. Okay, Libra to Libra. Give us a message from Libra's person to Libra. Libra's person to Libra. Marriage. This relationship is moving towards sacred union. Oh my gosh, see? Just be patient, guys. It's going to happen. It's going to happen. That's actually the first time I pulled this marriage card. It's never come up before. You're lucky, Libra. Okay, Scorpio. So Scorpio to Libra. Scorpio to Libra, please. Retreat. Time alone or in nature will help you recharge. So that does line up with that four of swords that we had here um, but then it also came up reverse meaning the person was like ready to get out of this retreating phase Sagittarius Sagittarius to Libra please message from Sagittarius to Libra what do we got here fate this is a destined partnership look at that guy see soulmate was in there and now that's coming up Capricorn Capricorn to Libra, please. Capricorn to Libra. Capricorn to Libra. Mastery. You've learned the spiritual lesson. Um, so this is a message from your person. So I would say your person, your Capricorn, has learned a spiritual lesson. Which is good. Growth, right? Okay, next one is Aquarius. Aquarius to Libra, please. Stability. This relationship can stand the test of time. It's a beautiful card too. Okay, and then the last one is Pisces. So Pisces to Libra. Pisces to Libra. True love. This love is emotional, physical, and con unconditional. That is beautiful. Oh, man. There were some really nice messages here. Okay. Thank you, Libra. If you made it all the way to the end of this reading, totally appreciate it. Please like this video and subscribe if you're not yet subscribed. And we'll see you in the next one. Bye-bye.